Hi everyone, my name is Alba Rivas and today I'm going to, to talk to you about mixins. A mixin is a class that contains methods that can be used by other classes. Think about mixins as an alternative to inheritance in which methods are included rather than inherited. There are multiple implementation patterns for mixins in different languages, and today we're going to start by taking a look at a simple mixing implementation pattern in JavaScript. First, let's take a look at an example in which we use inheritance. Here we have a cat class that extends pet. That means that cats can use methods declared in the pet class. Let's execute this code. As we can see, we can use the print info method from the parent class. We could implement a similar behavior by implementing a mixing pattern. Here we have an object in which we have defined the print info method that we want cats to use, and we can make cats use that method by simply assigning the mixing object to the cat object in question. Indeed, what we are doing is to mix the two objects together. Let's execute the code and see the result. And there it is. We can use the mixing print info method to print the age of my second cat. That is great, but now let's take a look at a more complex mixing pattern and see in which situations it is beneficial to use it. Let's say that now we want to create cat robots. Robocat is a pet, so we want to use the methods from pet, but we also want to use the methods from robot. However, multiple inheritance is not supported in JavaScript. We could work around that by creating an inheritance chain. We could make the RoboCat class extend from robot and then the robot class extend from pet. But that solution is not ideal for all cases. First, your robot class could be used to represent robots which are not RoboCats, for instance, an intelligent vacuum cleaner. Second, imagine that that robot class comes from a third-party library that doesn't know anything about the pet class. Is there a way in which we can inherit methods from both classes without coupling them? And the answer is yes. We can use another mixing pattern for that. In this case, the mixing is a class factory. The class factory returns a class that will extend the superclass passed in, and the mixing will add methods to that class. In our case, the pet mixing methods will be added to the robot class, the superclass. If you want to use the class that's returned by that class factory, you simply have to extend it, and that's it. Let's execute the code and see how it works. And there it is. R2D2 was able to print info and to recharge using a mixing. With this pattern, we maintained pets and robots decoupled. Indeed, we can do something else. Let's say that now we want to create another type of cats, for instance, alien cats. We can reuse our pet mixing for that and avoid coupling alien with pet. To finish, a note for Salesforce developers. In Lightning Web Components, we have a mixing, the navigation mixing. The class that you pass into navigation mixing is Lightning Element, which means that we add the navigation mixing methods to Lightning Element so that you can use them in your custom Lightning Web Components. Great, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye bye.